back to my channel and welcome back to another cook with me video. If this is your first time with me, I'm Kimmy. It's so nice to meet you and I'm so glad that you're here. And I can't wait to share this fun lunch recipe with you. <laughs> Gavin has his lunch already and I'm about to make mine. So today we're doing a super easy recipe. It's gonna take just minutes to make. It's just a wrap with some cooked lentils and a tahini dressing. It doesn't sound very exciting, but we're gonna season up the lentils super nice on the stove. I'm using some canned lentils, some canned organic lentils, these ones here, and I'm gonna drain them and then we're gonna season them up, make them super flavorful, then we're gonna make a really yummy tahini sauce. And for our veggies, we're just keeping it really easy. We're gonna do romaine lettuce because it has a really nice like crispy like crunch to it, which I love in a wrap. And then I have some bell pepper. So we're just gonna slice this up into thin slices. And this is a great way to sneak in more veggies and greens to your diet. It's a really great way to add in protein. And also it's just really easy. I, are you laughing at me? I prefer really easy lunches. I don't have time, especially with a toddler, to make long, <laughs> to make like these extravagant salads or other meals. So this is gonna be really easy. And what I love most is that you can meal prep this entire jar of lentils, and then you can make this wrap throughout the week as you go. What's so funny? Okay, and then, for our wraps, I am using these gluten-free cassava wraps from Siete. They are plant-based. Now, you can use any wrap that you want. I will say, I've used these many times. I do love them. They are a little bit harder to work with. You cannot overstuff them or it's gonna be hard to wrap. You have to heat them up first so they become more pliable and then fill them up. But I will show you that as we get going. We're gonna start off with our lentils. We're gonna get those cooking. So I'm going to rinse and drain these and then we'll go from there. Let's get cooking. So I drained and rinsed my lentils. I love using cooked lentils in a lot of recipes because it's so easy and saves so much time. You can just have them on hand in your pantry and you can throw them in pasta dishes. You can throw them on salads. Just they're so easy. You don't have to worry about prepping them. It saves so much time. I think in the prepping process for like certain things, if you can buy them made ahead that are made with clean ingredients and something like an organic lentil that doesn't have any additives in it. Like if you can find something like that, like even like garbanzo beans, black beans, like any of those beans that are already cooked, just have those on hand and they just are so easy to toss into a salad. So when you're short on time, you don't have to worry about like cooking your protein on the stove top if you don't want to, you can just, you know, have it ready to go, ready to eat. So these are clean. Now we're gonna season it up. I am going to add a good amount of salt. We want these to be nice and seasoned. So I'm doing some pink Himalayan salt. Now for our seasonings, we're kind of doing like a little bit of a Mexican inspired seasoning, which goes great with the tahini sauce. So I'm doing half a teaspoon of paprika. I love paprika. It adds a nice little smoky flavor. And then we're going to do a full teaspoon of chili powder. I love chili powder because it's a blend of a few different seasonings. This one in particular is made with chili, cumin, oregano, coriander, garlic, and allspice and cloves. So it already has a bunch of seasonings in it. So I love using that in recipes. It just adds a lot of flavor. I'm just gonna do a little sprinkle of onion powder. Just adds a nice little flavor. And then garlic powder. I adore garlic powder really on anything we're gonna do a full teaspoon of that as well and that's really it but it's gonna pack a punch if you know what i mean are you enjoying your lunch 
Yay! Now we're going to add in some fresh ground black pepper. Let's give it a toss. And then I have a pan on the stove already. I'm gonna add a little bit of oil and then we're gonna toss these on and saute them for like, probably like five minutes. I do want them to get like a little like crisp on them because I think that would taste really nice. So I also have a pan heating up. That's where I'm going to warm up my tortilla before I wrap it. But let's add the lentils in. I just added a little bit of olive oil and we're just adding the lentils right in there. And I'm just gonna let them cook for like five minutes, maybe like five to seven minutes. Before we chop up our veggies, I really, <laughs> I really wanna make the tahini dressing. So it's very, very easy. Like I said, if you prep the lentils, you can also prep the dressing and prep this for the week. And you can throw the sauce on literally any bowl, like any bowl. It's so versatile and I love it on like any green bowl, any salad. So I am going to make probably like two servings, but you can make double, triple, however much you are going to need for the week. It's two tablespoons of tahini. Lentil smells so good. Okay, we're gonna do this entire lemon. We're just gonna juice it right in here. I'm gonna end up adding another tablespoon of tahini just so it's a little more creamier. All right, let's mix it up first and I might add another tablespoon of tahini. Depends on how thick it gets. So when you mix the lemon and tahini, if it becomes like a thick, like almost like paste-like, then you're good. If it's a little watery when you mix it, then you might want to add a little bit more tahini. But ours is coming together. So about two tablespoons was good. Okay, so it should be nice and thick. I'm just gonna add like a few dashes of water just to thin it out. And that's the easiest sauce ever. You can add a little nutritional yeast. If you want to add a little like cheesy flavor to it, I would add nutritional yeast. If, if you want it a little bit more like flavorful, you could add some garlic powder, but I'm going to keep this really simple and that way we can use it on other bowls throughout the week because we're only going to use a little bit on this wrap. Now, like I said before, this wrap, I can't really fit a ton of things in it without it like breaking or spilling out. So I'm just doing like one large leaf of romaine, but you can use however many veggies you want. You can do, and then I'm gonna dice up, slice up some bell pepper. I'm just gonna thinly slice it. you will do a little bit more lettuce. I'm gonna do a little more lettuce. I think we'll be able to fit more in. Now I'm gonna heat up my wrap and get it pliable. So if you try and like wrap this, it will just break. These wraps in particular, not every gluten-free wrap or every wrap. You're helping me? Duck, duck, duck. Right, your duck? Let's get this wrap wrapped up. So we have our wrap. It is much more pliable now, so now we can work with it. Let's add some lettuce to the bottom here. And then I'm going to get the wrap crispy, so I'm gonna put it back in the stove once we get it all wrapped up. So we're gonna add some bell pepper. And I tell you, this is the easiest recipe, it really is. So here's our lentils. Okay, I'm gonna add this right on. We're just gonna add our tahini sauce right on top of that. You can add hot sauce, you can add some Avocado. I'm gonna douse mine in dressing because that's how I like it. Let's wrap it up. Now I'm gonna put it back on the stove, especially like this wrap. When you get it cooked, it'll stick a little bit better. All right, so we got a nice crisp on there. And now we're just gonna slice it open. So good, those lentils smelt so good. So I know that this is gonna be delicious, especially now that we added the tahini sauce. 
How good does that look? Oh my goodness, I am like so excited. It's time for our taste test. I just, one more. I just can't get over how good that looks. This is like so good. Okay, you can totally add hot sauce, cilantro. I kept it really easy, but you can really customize this like however you want. Unreal. Love recipes like this because this is a really simple recipe that you can have in your toolkit and then you can just add whatever you're craving. Like I said, you can add whatever toppings you want. You can season it however you want. You can add in whatever vegetables you want, add seasonal vegetables. You can really change this up. You can add some things to the sauce if you want. There's just lots of ways that you can customize it and make it delicious and healthy. And like I said, it's just a simple recipe to have in your toolkit. Have this recipe saved. I will post the recipe in the description box. Save it to your phone and you can make it weekly and just change it up however you want to. And like I said, it's a great way to sneak in lots of vegetables, more vitamins and nutrients to your diet, add more protein to your diet. And thanks so much for watching. I really enjoyed hanging out with you and make sure that you subscribe so that way you don't miss any of my future videos like this one and other ones. And I will see you next time.